Hi, everyone. Joe Gentili from Saraf Gentili, LLP. So I was going through the immigration news today. I, I, I try to go through the immigration news every day, and I saw that the consulate at the Dominican Republic put out what I thought was a pretty helpful explanation on a topic that causes a lot of confusion. So I get a call probably at least once a week on this. Um, but they clarified what 221G is. Um, so for those of you that have gone through consular processing, if you have an interview, you may get this notice that says that your visa has been denied or it's been refused, and it's a 221G notice, and causes a lot of stress for a lot of people because of how awkwardly it's worded. Uh, it's called a denial, it's called a refusal, but it's 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 really not. Like a denial or refusal, to me at least, the way I understand it, means that it's a final decision. It's really more akin to um, delayed or incomplete. They may You may get a 221G notice because there's additional information that the consulate needs to fully decide your case. So in that sense, it's incomplete, or it may just be that they have some work to do on the back end, and in that sense, it's, it's delayed. So delayed or incomplete is, to me, much better wording than refused or denied. And, you know, good on the consulate in the Dominican Republic for putting out a notice clarifying that. Um, but I just wanted it also clarify it for people that a 221G, it's it's not the end of the world. It's a, in all likelihood, it's a delay. Um, and the good news is, is that a lot of times they're, they're a, if, if it's dragging on for a long period of time, um, which, which they can because administrative processing doesn't really have like a set time limit. It, it could be days, it could be months. It's, it's just, it's, it's very difficult to tell. But if it drags on for a while, they are solvable with mandamus lawsuits. Um, so that's the good news. So, you know, the takeaway for the video is if you get a 221G notice, don't freak out. It's not a permanent denial. It likely just means that there's some other information that you have to provide or there's going to be a delay. And if the delay stretches out for too long, you can fix the delay with a mandamus lawsuit. So any questions, feel free to reach out. And if this was useful, I hope you subscribe for future videos. Thanks. Bye.